We are now going to look at this Canon AE-1 program 35mm SLR camera from the early 1980s. This one comes with an authentic Canon uh, front lens cap and the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 lens in the new style with the button here. And this camera is in quite good cosmetic condition as we can see here. Uh, it's got the Canon pliable rubber eye cup on the back. Those are often very stiff and rigid and not nice, but this one's in good condition. Uh, the bottom has a few little scrapes. Uh, looks like this may be from hunting for the, the uh, tripod socket. It's still got the cover over the uh, connection for the uh, optional motor drive. A little bit of scuffing here and there. Uh, little things but really not much. Um, good condition. Uh, what we're going to do is take off the accessory uh, little action grip as they called it and just a quick look at this we can see that the coin slot on this is very nice. These were often uh, dinged up by uh, people using coins to crank them open and closed and anyway that one is very nice. The battery door on this camera is also very nice. These were often uh, severely damaged and this one is in good condition. And we've got a test battery to put in just to try out here. Snap that closed, put the action grip back on. This slides on like that. And we'll just tighten it finger tight and that will be enough. We find the there. I think it's threaded in. Okay, so let's uh, fire the shutter. Have it set so it'll work. And we saw that. That was nice. Let's flip it to the timer setting. And now here we're hearing the timer count down. And that worked. And so let's start stepping down through the uh, through the standard shutter speeds. Here's one one thousandth of a second, one five hundredth, one two fiftieth, one one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth. And now as we get to these slower ones, we can see clearly in the lens here that the lens is stopping down during the shutter. That was one eighth and one fourth, one half, one full second, and two full seconds. And the bulb setting. And it stays stopped down as long as I hold the button down. So now if we look around the back here, we see we can set the, uh, the ASA value right here. More commonly known to younger people today as the ISO value, it was the same. Um, shutter speed dial turns nicely. Has a locking setting here, so even if it's cocked and ready to go, the shutter will not go off until you set it to the A setting or the S for the self timer. Let's take off the lens here and just look inside the mirror box. Uh, this one we just push the button, rotate the lens and it comes away. First let's look at this lens. Uh, nice smooth focus, very typical of this Canon lens. Nice clicks on the aperture ring. This one also features the locking A setting that you can set with this button and then it won't turn off of that without releasing that. And that works with the green program setting on the camera. Looks good around the back and around the front. Um, I didn't see any fungus in it and the blades seem pretty clean and snappy as we saw. And now let's look at the camera body itself. I'm going to set it at the bulb setting so that we can just watch the mirror flip out of, up out of the way. And there we're seeing back through to the pressure plate and that all looks good. Nice and clean inside and everything works quickly. 
Uh, this is the stamp down preview button and we can watch the uh, the uh, little lever move over and so that will stop down the lens and when the lens is mounted on there and there when it's there you see that working Let's open up the back of the camera here. We can pull up on the rewind knob and carefully get the back out from under the, the eye cup. And now we can see the shutter curtain and we can watch that operates nicely. And the film transport is nice and smooth. And as we move over here to the back, we can see uh, this one is extraordinarily clean along the door edges. Uh, quite often you'll feel a lot of sticky residue along here from light seal material, but this one is very nice. I don't know if it's been serviced or if it is just one of the few cameras this age that really the light seals held up well, but it looks really good and ready to go. So then we flip that back. The back closes nicely, has a nice rewind crank and we can put the lens cap back on the front and then there's just to note that uh, this it also has the Canon strap there's the Canon name on the little shoulder pad so all in all quite a nice example of the Canon AE1 program 35mm SLR camera